I'd like to think the intention of the title and thumbnail of this video is to give you guys an indication of what we're going to be talking about. In this one we're talking about the bottom for AMC and why I believe it is incredibly near to where we are right now. We're going to be going over all that stuff based on my opinion and also some of the good DD that we have, so it's a mixture between those two things, but remember, this is not financial advice. I must stress that again, but I am going to say it once more. Do your own research, be careful, and come to your own conclusions. But I want to speak about where we're going now with AMC and why we could be very, very near to the bottom, in my opinion. I shared a video on this yesterday. I do recommend that most of you go watch it. I'll probably have it carded in at some point. But let's talk about this issue just in a bit less detail. Anyway, we're going to quickly look at the chart to give you guys some context. It's not going to be an in-depth technical analysis, but it's just going to be a recap of what we're seeing on the chart. And we're seeing this bottom now coming in at about 19 um 98 perhaps a little bit lower than that down here but you know we're touching the 19 dollar range in the past trading day which was obviously the friday and uh, that gets a lot of people wondering what comes next now on the tactic of fud it's a real great tactic because 20 is a nice round number it fits in your head it sounds nice it's quite big obviously it's less than what we have seen in the past but to break below 20 we're coming into the teens and that gets people perhaps feeling anxious but I don't think that we're going to be in the teens for long. Now, there's a few reasons why I believe that, and I did cover a few of those in the video yesterday. Things like the fact that when this goes lower, things are going to happen for the hedge funds. And what's going to happen? I'm going to show you what's going to happen right now. Now, we covered a post just like this on Reddit yesterday, but we're covering a similar post by a completely different user today. And I must stress that it's a completely different user. It's inappropriate investor who posted this nine hours ago. It's a bundle of cash, all $100 bills there, quite a few of them. And the reason why he or she is showing those off is because they sold their ATV today and they're using that money to buy more AMC on Tuesday. And this person isn't alone. Now, like I've said before, selling your stuff for AMC, I'm not going to tell you to do that because I'm not a financial advisor. But because I'm not a financial advisor, I can't tell you to do that and I can't tell you not to do that. You guys should do whatever you feel comfortable with. Now me, I'm not going to be selling anything for the stock, but I'm going to tell you, I do have some money on the sides, and if this one goes to where I want it to be, which is a little bit lower, I'm going to be loading up the boat again. I'm more than happy to buy into AMC, and I'm more than happy to put the rest of my life savings in. I've been saving up from my initial investment back earlier in 2021, but right now, I'm more than happy to double down on that and use the money that I've saved in the past few weeks and months. So... This may seem like an insignificant amount, a couple of hundred dollars, maybe a couple of thousands, but when we're fighting the hedge funds, what does this mean, right? Wrong. Because this is one user. Let's see this let's say this user has one thousand dollars, okay? Let's say the user from last post has one thousand dollars. That's already two thousand dollars. And that's a conservative estimate. Now I've seen people on Twitter who say that they're gonna be remortgaging their house, they're gonna be selling their homes because their homes have gone up in value significantly since they bought them, and they're gonna use that money to buy into AMC. Now when you've got people doing stuff like that, that is a lot of money coming into the stock, and that is gonna possibly make significant differences. And even if it's not showing in the price, because of course manipulation can happen, behind the scenes it will be taking its toll. Now something else that's going to be taking its toll behind the scenes is the fight between hedge funds on this one issue. Now, like I said, 20 is significant. To some, breaking below it is negative. To some, breaking below it is overwhelmingly bullish, and they're going to be loading the boat at those prices. So hedge funds now have this issue in their heads, right? On the one hand, drop it below 20, get people scared. But on the other hand, drop it below 20, and now you run the risk of people doubling down on their positions. And I think it's more likely than not, more people will double down than will sell. So they run that risk, and obviously it is also possibly in their best interest to keep the prices below 20, or, as, or actually as low as they can, because of one big thing. Now, what is that thing? It's our next options expiry date. That's the 21st of this month. Now, why is that such a significant date? It's because in the money calls for this date, 87,500. Out of the money calls for this date, more than half a million, more than half a million we're seeing over there for out of the money. Now, we're going to look at the puts too because it is relevant. Uh, we're seeing 114.8k, so about 115k in the money and 280k out the money. Now, bullish or bearish, it doesn't matter. 
both sides a lot of data here, right? This is going to be a huge battle. It's going to be a very, very big battle in my opinion. And we're going to have a look now at those prices for that expiry date. But basically, what is obvious to a lot of people now is it's going to be hard for them to manage this one. Like I said, on the one hand, bring it down. And the consequence of that is going to be people are going to just double down. But they're going to hope that people lose money on those options. So they have that tactic. But then they also run the risk, like I said, of people doubling down. And on the other hand, they could just let this one run. And then what happens? They lose even more money. So really, they're in a big mess. They're basically damned if they do. They damned if they don't. But we'll have a breakdown of these calls and puts and the money. Um, the main thing that we're going to be highlighting is volume. So look at this chart. This uh, column, I should say. Keep your eyes on this column because that's the main one that we're focusing on. Um, not really worth looking at anything below about $15 in my opinion. So we won't do that. But coming up to the more reasonable prices, especially at 20, going to be having 9.3k in the money at 20. That is a significant amount, to be honest with you. And this could go either way. Uh, I would like to see this week being bullish because, you know, if we do start to drop, then what happens? And furthermore, when that buying pressure does come in, then what? I mean, we already saw it on Friday that the algorithms were kind of tricked out for a minute by the looks of things when it did drop down and so much buying pressure came in but what's going to happen next week are they really truly going to let this one drop and then what happens anyway i do think this one is possibly going to be a bullish week i don't have too much hope riding on it i'm not one of these people who thinks oh yeah big gamma squeeze however it could happen it absolutely could i'm not going to dismiss it for a second because the data really is there to allow this one to happen but we'll break this one down even further um coming out to the higher prices 22 23 24 25 we're looking at 7k 7k 5k 9k you know low end figures up here down 26 to 29 another key figure is 30 nice round number 4k up there come up to the big numbers and as i have said before these big round numbers do sometimes get a lot in but apparently in the 30 dollar range not too many now another big one that people have aspirations for is 40 that's 3k up there um Keep going down, you get figures like 50, not too high. 46 is a bit high, though. And we actually do have a lot at some ridiculous prices. So, come up to 145, we get 200k, is it? 200k uh, volume, I believe. Let me just double-check that one. No, 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 the volume is in this column, forgive me. So, yeah, 4k volume, relatively high, actually, up at this point. So, we're seeing high volume figures. And, again, this is the interest coming from bar chart. Figures from other sources may be different. But you'll see where the high figures really are when we have a look at this chart. Very easy for everybody to understand. And very easy for everybody to understand what's going on here and what the effect of this could be. It really could trigger some big moves. And what are they going to do with this data? Because, like you said, it is going to cost them either way. If they push it down, they're going to be paying in the MOAS in the event of that. But if they let it run... They're going to be getting even bigger losses that they're going to have to be sustaining. And it's only going to be a matter of time, if that does happen, until the margin is calling. So now you see why this week is such a well-esteemed battle, which so many people have in their head. Will it be the day that we take off? It probably won't, but it definitely, definitely will be, in my opinion, a fight this week. And it will probably be the start of things. This is where things really start to heat up, because this is is the start of what we've been looking for for a long time. Okay, the government's not going to come in and do regulations, fair enough. But someone is going to mess up along the way. This can go on for 10 years. Do you think that they can meticulously cover this one up every single day, every single trading day, about 252 days a year for the next 10 years? I don't think it's going to be that easy for them to cover that up. And it's going to be getting harder and harder the bigger their figures to cover up are. So now you see why this is the date where the battle does start. Now you see why this is the date where the MOAS is getting closer and closer. I hope that video was informative for you. More content's going to be coming at you guys in the next hour or so. So make sure to join us for that. Turn your bell notifications on and subscribe. But remember, this is not financial advice. So I'll see you in that video, guys. Uh, goodbye. Thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord.
So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon